Breaking news coming from today from Scotland as the Tay Bridge collapsed. Over concerns of safety, we had no other choice but to demolish this building using TNT. This was one of the worst structural failures that I've ever seen in my career. Disclaimer, this is for educational purposes only. The buildings in this film do not depict the actual design. Investigators are still trying to piece together what exactly happened on board Aloha Airlines Flight 243 that left one person dead after the fuselage of the plane split open mid-flight. Good evening. It doesn't seem to make any difference how many times we've seen it today. It is still amazing. An airliner with its fuselage ripped away in midair, and all but one aboard survived. It happened over Hawaii. This is the Hilo International Airport, serving as the International Airport for Hilo, a small county of Hawaii located on Big Island. Hawaiian Airlines Flight 2649, cleared for departure on runway 26 left. Copy that, taking off from runway 26 left. Good night. Copy that, Aloha Airlines Flight 2649. It was just a regular day for the staff passengers at Hilo. Listen kid, you can't carry the entire McDonald's menu on this flight. This is not sanitary. On the tarmac, this Boeing 737 is preparing to take off as it's boarding its passengers. This plane Hello, is considered to be a combined Hello. structure. The crew members are just preparing for departure. On board the plane, 44-year-old Captain Sean Steimer is a pilot with 8,500 flight hours and 36-year-old First Officer Tompkins who had a total of 8,000 flight hours. At 1 p.m., Aloha Airlines Flight 243 is preparing to depart. Flaps check, auto brakes check, initiate engine 1 and 2 startup. Aloha Airlines Flight 243 was set to depart from Hilo to Honolulu. On this flight, there are 89 passengers and 6 crew. The live load also accounts for cargo, which typically a Boeing 737 can carry 50,000 pounds of cargo and nearly 7,000 gallons of fuel. On this plane, the dead loads is the plane itself. This includes the fuselage, the two side wings and the tail wings, and the two engines. While I was boarding the plane, I noticed a small little crack to the right of the door of the fuselage. Well, I didn't think it was much. I thought the flight attendants knew what they were doing. I thought, I thought they were already aware. I didn't want to create a huge fuss. This is Flight 243 requesting permission to take off. Aloha Airlines, Flight 243, permission granted. 
At 1.25 p.m., Aloha Airlines Flight 243 takes off inbound for Honolulu. Copy that. Aloha Airlines Flight 243 taking off. 20 minutes later. After 23 minutes following departure, the plane reaches a cruising altitude of 24,000 feet. So, uh, how's life? Oh, old grandpa's having back problems again. Oh. Dad, you're a doctor. You can help yourself. <laughs> what? Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you hear that? Yes, hurry up and get the oxygen masks. At Kahului Airport, they're preparing for an emergency landing. There's something landing. control, we have a plane requesting it and declaring an emergency at runway 2. Copy that, I'm sending in assistance. In the station, in the station. Depressurization problem. Emergency landing on runway 2. Requesting all assistance. Runway 2, runway 2. We got a Boeing 737 making an emergency landing. Those on board, unknown. Flashback. Ladies and gentlemen, because of Aloha Airlines, such short flights, cabin crews are expected to serve food and drinks during the climb. Oh, would you like anything to drink today? Alright, I like a bowl of water, please. You know the uh, weather network said that the weather was actually going to be pretty nice today? That's when all hell broke loose. The fuselage of the plane split open. Just like demonstrated in this little animation representation. This is an example of shearing. Fortunately, all passengers were still in their seat belts, besides one crew member that was serving drinks. CB Lansing was the only person that died and fell into the huge depths of the Pacific Ocean. And although the ocean never surrendered the body of C.B. Lansing, a memorial garden was held for her at Honolulu Airport. I, I couldn't believe it! She was just handing my wife a drink. Their, their hands were nearly touching it, and in a blink of an eye, she was gone. She swept like a tornado. The the cabin peeled like a banana. This is a low high airline flight two or three. Is anyone there? Aloha Airlines, we copy your transmission. Aloha Airlines flight two four three. We're declaring an onboard emergency, requesting emergency landing immediately. Please state your emergency. Aloha Airlines flight two four three. Pop, an Aloha Airlines Flight 243, we copy your transmission. Emergency equipment is on the field. Advise if you need additional support. But now, the crew has encountered another problem that they must deal with. They have lost one of their engines. Darn it, we lost an engine. Miraculously, just one engine and the top of the plane missing. The pli pilots were still able to successfully land the plane with the plane still being intact. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. On the ground, emergency services rush to the scene to aid the injured.
Get the medic bags. At the time, this airport was not equipped for an emergency at this severity. At the ground, it was confirmed that at least one person had died and 65 people were injured. Now, investigators must find out what occurred for this tragedy to occur. Yellow, this is the NTSB. We have an aircraft incident here at Hawaii. We need you to come over here to investigate. Alright, I am coming now. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't get paid enough for this. Once I arrived at the scene, I, I took a little look at the plane and this was probably one of the worst aviation accidents that I've had to deal with. At the scene, Jim gathers evidence for further analysis. You know, funny thing was, uh, you know, I actually got woken up at like 2 a.m. and you know they said that there was an incident at Ho Hawaii, and so I just hopped on a plane and I just went to Hawaii, you know, free vacation. Jim begins the investigation by looking at the plane's records. He goes through the documents of the aircraft, the Boeing 737 and finds one vital clue that may hint to the future of the investigation. Apparently, this aircraft has had 35,000 flight hours and that was double the amount that the plane was built for. Which first, that, that's not good and this poses a significant clue. Using the remaining pieces of the fuselage that he gathered at the scene, he analyzes it under a microscope and spots a vital clue that gives investigators what they were looking for. Basically what happened was that there was corrosion on the steel and this resulted in little fatigue cracking around the rivets that helped secure the fuselage. With the cracks getting worse, this resulted in a tear in the fuselage and for the fuselage to rip apart. With more humid climates in Hawaii, this contributes to the corrosion and helps speed up the process in which corrosion occurs. The reason why Jim believes all passengers were able to still survive and live to this day lies below exactly the spot where the roof blew off. The reason why the front of the plane, the cockpit, was still able to attach to the rest of the plane was thanks to these little strap bars, is what they call it. This thing is in tension and it's holding the front of the plane together and preventing it from tipping over. This is probably what saved their lives. Aloha Airlines was apparently already aware about the problem on their fleet and ordered routine inspections. But these inspections took place at night, where these cracks would have been near impossible to All be detected. Alright, seems good here. When you're designing and building a plane, there are multiple considerations that you must consider to ensure that air travel remains one of the safest methods of transportation out there. Some of these considerations include thunderstorm, heavy rain, low visibility, heavy winds, bird strikes, ice, natural disasters, and the most leading cause of air incidents are human error. Luckily, planes are specially designed to be with able to withstand all of these natural disasters and forces, and that makes air travel a lot safer. Alright, can you explain to me what you saw on when you were boarding the plane? Um, I saw a little crack to the right of the door when I was boarding the plane. Using witness statements and what was found from the remaining 
evidence from the scene, investigators were able to confirm that there were multiple cracks on rivets, and together they formed one huge crack that as a result tore the aircraft apart. But what exactly happened on board may never be known because the answer lies somewhere in the deep Pacific Ocean. We are aware of the flight incident involving Aloha Airlines. This tragedy that left one dead could have been avoided if the airline had a proper inspection regime. As a response, as a result of this, we'll now be passing the Aviation Research Act. This act recognizes the importance of inspecting old aircrafts and mandates research into inspecting old aircrafts. However, the plane wasn't completely taken by Aloha Airlines. Boeing, the aircraft manufacturer, was also blamed for the incident. This tragedy could have been prevented. There are numerous of ways where corrosion can be prevented. Some of this includes using non-corrosive metals including stainless steel or aluminum, or using a protective coating of grease, oil, paint, or carbon fiber. This flight incident was a huge learning experience for the aviation community. With this incident happening, this made aviation and flight travel a lot more safer by learning from its mistakes and ensuring that it never happens again in the future. And that is it for today's documentary. Wait, wait, wait! What? You're forgetting something! What? Bro, how could you forget? Oh, 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 oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment you have all been waiting for. Introducing Calvin Bieber. Hello, hello, thank you, thank you. So, I know you all love my Particles song that I've made. And, you know, I know you guys love that Colonist music video. So, this is why I want to be showing and introducing to you all my new latest song. You know, this talks about airplanes and external forces, so I hope you all love it. Alright, cue the music! Let's get the party started! Oh, airplanes. Oh, look at the terrain. Oh, don't throw up. You know the forces. Learn from sources. External forces that out act outside horses. You know weight that pushes down. A type of force where gravity pushes down on you. Do you know thrust? Pushing it forward. An applied force, engines got the cores. What am I talking about? You might wonder. And I was like, external forces, axon, airplanes, 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 all oh, like airplanes, 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 all oh, like airplanes, 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 all oh, like oh, external forces, axon, everything, airplanes, 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 all oh, like. Airplanes, 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 oh, like airplanes, 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 oh, thought you'd already known, oh, oh, Jack, it's a type of friction where the air is acting against the plane and trying to slow it down, but it's no use. The raw is overcoming air resistance, and in the distance, it's going up. And I've just missed my flight to Japan. The plane is going up, 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 up. And it's all thanks to a process known as lift. And I was like, airplanes, 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 oh, like airplanes, 
airplanes, airplanes, oh, like airplanes, 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 oh, external forces acts on everything, airplanes, 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 oh, like airplanes, 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 oh, like airplanes, 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 oh, thought you'd already know, no. no.